Hello, and welcome to this video presentation in which we'll introduce some Apex SQL refactor formatting options. In this video, you will find explanation for every formatting option under the tab's parameters, columns, joins, and flow control of the options dialog. With Apex SQL Refactor, you can format SQL scripts, SQL code in the query window, or a SQL code selection from the query window. Let's paste some code into the query editor. This code is not very readable, but we will change that with Apex SQL Refactor. First, assuming we want to change the defaults, we need to set up our desired formatting options. Go to the Apex SQL menu under the Apex SQL Refactor main menu and select the Options command. All formatting options are grouped in tabs and subtabs. There are four built-in formatting profiles with set formatting options, which you cannot change, like the default Apex SQL profile. You can create a new formatting profile from scratch, or you can copy one of the built-in formatting profiles and use it as a template. For this presentation, we will create a new profile. Click the New button and enter a name for the profile. After everything is set, click OK button. As you can see, the new profile is on the Formatting Profiles list. Select this formatting profile and click Set as Active button. Under this formatting profile, you can change the settings for every formatting option of the Options dialog. One of the benefits of using Apex SQL Refactor is the impact of every change on the settings for formatting options can be seen immediately in the Code Preview section. By default, the Code Preview section uses the built-in example code. Click Use Current SQL button if you want to see how formatting options will affect your own actual code. Click on the List tab and then click on the Parameters sub-tab. Here, you can find formatting options for definitions, parameters, and alignment in Data Definition Language, DDL, statements. To apply any of these formatting options to your list of parameters, first, you must check the Format Lists option. The Place List on New Line option will do exactly that. When checked, it will place the entire list of parameters to a new line. You can choose alignment of the parameters list in the new line by checking one of the two options, align with keyword or indentation from the beginning of the new line. We will check the align with keyword option. Additionally, you can choose to place each item from the parameters list to a new line. When the place each item on new line option is checked, you can choose comma placement regarding the parameter after or before each parameter. To set a comma in the beginning of the new line without any indentation, check Place Comma Before Each Item and Do Not Indent Comma options. This way, even if you set the indentation for parameters, commas will stay in the beginning of the line. For our example, we will check Place Comma Before Each Item and Do Not Indent Comma options. When the Format Parentheses Placement option is checked, you can set placement for the opening and closing parentheses. For the opening parentheses, after you check Move Opening Parentheses to a new line, you can specify parentheses placement by choosing one of the available options. Place at same position, align with the keyword, or indentation from the beginning of the line. For closing parentheses, there is a set of slightly different placement options. After the Move Closing Parentheses to a New Line option is checked, you can choose one of the placement options. Align to the end of the previous line. Align with Keyword. Align with Opening Parentheses. Or Indentation from the Beginning of the Line. For both Opening and Closing Parentheses, we will choose the Align with Keyword option. There are four more formatting options under this subtab. The Don't Format if Parentheses are not nested option, when checked, will format only parentheses which are nested. If you do not have nested parentheses, like we do not in this example, checking this option will undo all checked formatting options for the parentheses placement. Because of that, we will not check this option. 
If you check the Don't Format if there are no new lines in between option, parentheses will not be formatted if the list of parameters is in one line. This means if you choose not to format a list, or the list is in one line, all checked formatting options for parentheses placement will not be applied. For now, we will leave this option unchecked. Add space inside the parentheses option will add one space after the opening parentheses and one space before the closing parentheses. Add space outside parentheses option will add one space before the opening parentheses and after the closing parentheses. Since we chose to place opening and closing parentheses on new lines, these options will be left unchecked. After all formatting options are set, click the Save button. To format your code, select it and click Format SQL button in the Apex SQL Refactor toolbar. This action will format your code with the formatting profile you set as active. In the Columns subtab, which is located under the List tab of the Options dialog, you can find formatting options that provide formatting of the column lists in the Data Manipulation Language, aka DML statements. As you can see, the formatting options list for the columns is identical as the formatting options list for parameters. But these formatting options can only be applied to column lists and nothing else. Let's see that in the example. Paste some SQL code in the query editor. Even these simple select or insert statements without formatting are hard to read. Now, let's review all the formatting options Apex SQL Refactor has to offer for formatting column lists. Once again, open the Options dialog and click on the List tab, and then click the Columns subtab. Click Use Current SQL button so you can see how each formatting option will affect your code. After the Format Lists option is checked, check the Place List on a New Line option. You may align the list with the keyword or choose indentation from the beginning of the new line. We will check the Align with Keyword option. Now, check the Place Each Item on a New Line option. For items in the list, you can specify the position of the commas, after or before the item. If you check the Place Comma Before Each Item option, you will have the additional option Do Not Indent Comma. This option will leave the commas at the beginning of the line, without indentation, regardless of the item indentation. For this, we will choose Place Comma Before Each Item and Do Not Indent Comma options. The Format Parentheses Placement option, when checked, gives you the possibility to set the placement of the parentheses in the column list. Check Move Opening Parentheses to a New Line and Move Closing Parentheses to a New Line options. Now, you can specify the positions of the opening and closing parentheses in the column lists. We will set opening and closing parentheses to be aligned with the keyword. We do not have nested parentheses. We do not have parentheses in one line. And since all parentheses are in separated lines, we do not need to add spaces around them. Because of that, we will leave unchecked the last four formatting options. We did not separate these two statements with an empty line, but Apex SQL Refactor can do this for us if we check the Insert Empty Line Before Each Statement option from the Formatting tab. Also, one of the additional formatting options for Insert Statements is Always Use Into in Insert Statements, which is located under the Statements tab. This option, when checked, will add Into in all Insert Statements. After all options are set, click Save button, and from Apex SQL Refactor Toolbar, click Format SQL button. The Joins tab provides SQL formatting options for the Join statements. The set of options includes separating joined objects, on keywords, and nested join statements in a new line, aligning, and indenting code. Let's see how these formatting options can help us improve code readability on the following example. After you passed the code in the Query Editor, open the Options dialog from the Apex SQL Refactor main menu 
and click on the Joins tab. First, we must check Format Joins option. Because without this option checked, none of the other options from this tab will be applied to our code. If you want to prevent formatting short join conditions, check Format Each Join Statement Longer Than X Spaces option and set the line length. The Place First Table on a New Line option, when checked, will place the first table of the join statement on a new line. In our case, this will be Address Table. You have additional options for first table alignment, regarding keyword, or the beginning of a new line. Check Align with the previous keyword option. If you want to move the join statement to a new line, check the Place Join Keyword in a New Line option. You can align it with the beginning of the previous keyword or with the first table in a statement, with or without indentation. We will check the Align with First Table option and set indentation to be five spaces. The Place Joined Object on a New Line option will move, in this case, Joined Table New Users to a new line. Again, you can specify indentation from the Join keyword. Here, we will set indentation to be 10 spaces. When you check the Place On on a New Line option, you can choose the alignment of the join conditions to the beginning of the previous keyword, Join Keyword, or the first table, with indentation or not. We will align it with the Join Keyword with indentation of 10 spaces. If you have, in your code, more than one join condition, check the Place Nested Join Operations on Separated Lines option and choose one of the alignment options. Since we have in our example nested join operation, we will check this option and set indentation to be 10 spaces. You can set how the operations will be placed under the join statement. Go to the Expressions tab and then to the Comparison subtab. If you want the operation to be on a new line, check Move Operation to a New Line option. If you want to move every step of the operation to a separate line, check the Show Operations on Multiple Lines option. You can place the operator before, after, or on separate lines. One more option that can make a difference in the final look of your code is the Add Spaces Around Operators option. Checking this option, you will add one space before and one space after the operators. After you set all formatting options, click the Save button and from the toolbar, click Format SQL command. Now the code looks better, doesn't it? The Flow Control tab provides formatting options for improving readability in T-SQL condition statements and wrapping up if statements and stored procedures in the begin-end block code. To explain how these formatting options can be useful, we will use the following example. Open the Options dialog from the Apex SQL Refactor main menu and click the Flow Control tab. Click on the Use Current SQL button to see your code in the Code Preview section. As you can see, even when all formatting options are unchecked, the code is formatted to some point. This is because Apex SQL Refactor by default formats some parts of the SQL code. Now let's make our code more readable. Since we have when, then, and else keywords in our statement, we will check all three formatting options without checking indentation options. Placement of the keywords, which are under the case clause, is connected to the placement of the case keyword. This means that indentation will start from the case keyword position. Set indentation to be five spaces for then and else keywords. If you check the Always Use Begin and End in the If Statements option, in your code will be added Begin End keywords for every If condition and for every Else condition. The Always Use Begin and End in Stored Procedures option, when checked, will add Begin End keywords for every stored procedure if they do not exist. In the next two options, Indent Begin End Blocks and 
indent code within begin end blocks. You can use only when code already have begin end blocks or when you check one of the options above. With the indent code within begin end blocks option, you have the possibility to move only the code between begin end keywords. And with the second option, indent begin end blocks, you can move the whole begin end block together with the begin end keywords. Check both and set indentation to B5 spaces. The indent condition body statement option allows you to move condition after if condition when you do not have a begin end block. Since we added begin end to our code, this option we will leave unchecked. When you set all formatting options, click the Save button and Format SQL button from the Apex SQL Refactor toolbar. Again, this looks much better. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.